So when I am ready to create a t-shirt, like a family reunion shirt or a memorabilia shirt, I usually go, um, I usually save the picture to the desktop and then I right mouse click and I go to print and I know like the edges, it, it kind of cuts in a little bit. So I have two options here. The paper that I'm printing on is the A4 paper. And so this is what's going to happen when I do a full page, which I'm okay with it cutting in like that. Um, or else I can click um, fit picture to frame and it will make it more like an 8, eight by 10 and I have a cutter so I'm fine with doing that too. Um, so for this project itself, I am going to go ahead and just do it as an 8 by 10 even though I got A4 paper I've used both and depending on the t-shirt size it kind of works out. I can use the A4 um, size with the full page field for like my bigger shirts and then for my smaller shirts I can do the 8 by 10 so I'm gonna go ahead and print the 8 by 10 for this one so again fit to frame keep it full page if I want it like that or click off and then I make sure my settings of course make sure I find my printer because I have several printers here make sure my paper size is accurate even though I'm doing an 8 by 10 print here my paper that's loaded is A4 so I have to make sure that that's accurate standard quality and then um, the ultra premium photo sometimes I do that just because it makes the more of the ink come out so the colors are deeper but you don't have to do that you can go ahead and just uh, change the setting on there if you want it to just be I mean to any of these other ones as well you don't have to do the premium Okay, go ahead and I'm going to print. So when creating the the print for the shirts, like whatever the saying is that I want on the shirt, I like to make sure I do that in Cricut Design Space. And so I've already, you know, picked out my font and everything and making sure that the operation is basic cut because of course they have drawing options and print and cut options as well so I don't want to get those confused because I do want this um, cut out on my vinyl for my um, Cricut Design Space cutter so I do want to make sure that I have that on basic cut and because I'm making these shirts smaller these are going for and I saved it as a um, small medium and also large I should say that on there as well I'm not sure why I cut it off but these are going for small, medium, and large because I also have sizes like 1X, 2X, 3X going all the way up to 5X. So I have like three different sizes going on. So since these are for small, medium, and, and large, um, I do have my width at 9.53 and height 3.5. It, it works out really good, um, this size, and I'll show you the shirts later. Um, but this also saves me some space because I'm able to print three and I'll show you when I go to the make it right now. Oh, and also when I was designing this, I made sure that I uh, grouped these together and then I also attached them. So they're grouped and they are attached. See, so if I press this, it's going to untached, unattach them. And of course, it's not already going to come attached. You're going to have to go down to make sure it's attached. So you have to make sure it's grouped. You have to make sure it's attached. And then go to make it. Because if you don't, there's going to be letters all over the place. Okay. So they're all on here together. And I know it says 12 by 24, but I know that I can fit this all on a 12 by 12 mat as well. So I just changed it to a 12 by 12 mat. And as you can see, it all fits on there just fine. And then I did mirror image since again, this is an iron on. So you always have to make sure it's in mirror image. And then continue from there. I have to make sure um, my uh, 
Cricut was on because it was not on. And then that's when it starts setting it up for you and just making sure that you do um, adjust the paper and stuff in there. Um, it shows you on here, of course, each symbol that you need to be doing and making sure it does say iron on because I have um, made the mistake before of just like having it on paper, the paper setting and forgetting to change it between projects. So always change um, your, your settings on here between projects. So after you press this button, it's going to go to Cricut and it's going to start cutting and all that good stuff. So I'm not going to go through all of that. Um, but I will show you the final result. Okay, so first, I usually like to iron all the creases and stuff out of the shirt, all the wrinkles. I know some people use their heat press, press it down, and then lay everything on there and press it out. But because I have two layers to this project of doing a picture and doing the vinyl, um, letters i just rather um iron it out on a table so i always lay down a, a, a towel and then i iron it out i don't do any professional ironing the point is just to get out the wrinkles so i don't do pretty ironing so don't worry about that too much okay so now i have my um my paper and so what I'm going to do with that, this, of course, I already started peeling the corner because these corners can be uh, a little tricky. And just kind of smoothly uh, rip that off. You can't really, well, you shouldn't be able to destroy it at this point, but it comes off pretty cool, pretty easy. And I also have, you know, some people don't believe in using these, but they're really professional and great. I still struggle with alignment sometimes, so I use this. I line it up to the collar. Now, I know uh, my words are going to go up here, so I make sure that I save my space for my words. So, that's there. And then I'm going to go ahead and get the words so I can make sure everything is aligned correctly. Okay, so since I am, the shirt is a size large, so I am going to be using the one that I showed with the three different um, rows of wording on it. So I just want the Freddie and Ermalee legacy on there. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that out. I like to cut um, mine out close. Some people just do a, a squid, um, make sure it's rectangle, but I just want it as close as possible to the words. So the whole thing just as close as possible. I think that's good enough for me. So now I'm going to take it and line it up on the shirt. I want it right at the bottom. Like literally as close to the bottom of that frame as I can. And then I try to make sure it's as even as possible on both sides. Looks like I need to move this over just a little bit. Five and five is where I need my letters to end kind of close to the fives, in between the fives, shall I say, is where I need that to end. And it looks like it's there. So what I do is I usually take a Teflon sheet and I will cover that. So I get a Teflon sheet, this is a big one, but you can use a smaller Teflon sheet. You don't need one this big. So I take the Teflon sheet, I'm only ironing this one little part. I'm not going to worry about the picture yet. And I'm not trying to press it on. I'm going to let the, pre the heat press do most of the work. So I just want this on here so it doesn't move. That's the main thing. So it's on there. It looks like it's good in alignment. So now 
I am going to make sure my picture is on there and it's good. And I still refer back to uh, my cutout up there just to make sure. So you're looking at your letters to make sure that's aligned there. But then you also want to make sure it's aligned with the bottom words and all of that. So there's a lot to consider when you're trying to center up a picture. And like over here, you see there is, it's not like perfectly lined up as far as the shirt itself. And so because of that, I'm going to trust my collar to kind of help me out more so than me having to take the whole shirt and do the readjustment. Okay, so rather than do that, I'm going to go ahead, dress the collar up here, line it up there, dress my lettering here that I see visually. And with that, this is what I would consider centered. And I'll show you how centered it is once I pull it up, but I trust that that is centered. Okay, and I will cover it again. And I am not going to do a big press on this. This is a light press because, again, I'm going to let the heat press machine do most of the work. This is just so when I take it over to the heat press, it does not move. That's the whole point of it is to not move. Okay. So, as you can see, my heat press is around 360, 365, which is close enough for me. So, I usually like a Teflon sheet underneath my shirt as well as on top of my shirt. So go ahead, lay that in here. And I like adjusting it sideways. You know, some people probably do it the other direction, but I prefer to adjust it sideways. And let me uh, go ahead and grab that Teflon sheet for the top. I left it on the other side of the room. Okay, so here we go. Got the Teflon sheet to put on top. So I've made sure the shirt gets all the way straight and smooth underneath. I didn't stop the heat from rising, so, but it's going to stop since I started. So. And I'm only doing 20 seconds, so I have to stay right here, so I'll make sure I won't go over. You know, and if it needs more time, then I'll, I'll let the seconds continue, but I would check it at 20 seconds. little hot so I don't want to mess with it too much but usually I fan it I test it out in the corner just to see does it look like letters are starting to stick pretty good actually it looks like it's did a great job so it looks like it's good to go so I'm just gonna let it cool a little bit so if this is my last shirt which right now it's not but normally I would just go ahead and turn it off and let it cool on the um, plate but since this is not my last shirt, I will leave it on, but just make sure this is to the side. And then I will slowly kind of get the shirt off the heat press. The Teflon kept it from getting too hot underneath, so it's pretty much good to go. All right, there we go. I'll show you the final result. Okay, so now that I let the shirt kind of cool down a little bit, I can kind of peel off just to make sure it's really good because I didn't get the chance to peel it all off. So I can't tell you 100% that it's it's great. But as far as what I've seen earlier, it was fine. Looks good. And something I else I do, but you do not have to do, is I go ahead and I put the Teflon sheet on here after I've removed the plastic and I kind of just seal it this is my way of like making sure it's totally good I seal it again I just iron it again you don't have to do this this is just something I feel comfortable doing this makes me feel like everything is 
sealed properly and I didn't miss out on miss anything as far as uh, pressing so there you go voila we have a complete shirt